Hi, this is Tina. And Mary. And this is Bird Barf. Yay! For the first time in a while. Yeah, for the first time in a while, and for the first time in a while with just me and Mary. So, sorry guys, no guests today. Anywho, um, today we're going to talk about Felicia Day's book, which is called You're Never Weird on the Internet Almost, a memoir. Yes. And the book is actually mine. Um, I I bought it first. I had it pre-ordered the day it was announced because uh, I've been a Felicia Day fan for quite a while. Um, I loved her in The Guild, she's in Supernatural, um, Dragon Age, Geek and Sundry, all the stuff she does, uh, Co-Optitude with her brother. Like, I'm, I love Felicia Day. Like, I think that she's amazing and awesome. And so, of course, I was going to read this book. So then I did offer it to you, too, and you're like, yeah, why not? So let, what do you think? So I really liked it, actually. I didn't know what to think, and I don't typically, I guess I should preface this with, I don't typically read memoirs or, like, true life anything I pretty much only read fiction so I was pretty pretty hesitant to even read it because I was like well I don't really know how much I want to know about her and I like her just like I'm like oh she's cool but like again I don't know anything about her because I don't normally care about (laughs) yeah (laughs) but I do like her from (laughs) Supernatural and I don't know if I've seen her in anything else um but I did really like the book uh to go that so I did think it was like it wasn't I guess what I was expecting because I was kind of expecting it to just be like funny and like a comedy but it was actually really real like she was very it was like very personal yeah it's a very honest book you know I do I guess as as lame as this always sounds I find she's a really big inspiration like the way that she does things and what she's done and all that she just sort of did because she just decided to do it like I really like that kind of mentality and that's kind of what I I tend to sort of do like if I just sort of decide to do something I'm like no yeah, let's do it and then procrastinate from that point on <laughs> and, <laughs> one of them and then yeah. <laughs> yeah and then I go eh but um so yeah and it's this book it reads like her like it's clear that it wasn't you know ghost written by anybody and it wasn't like some weird marketing ploy Right, no, it's very, it's very Felicia Day. Like, I have seen or heard her speak in person, video in person, whatever, a few times, and it does sound like her. It doesn't sound like someone else pretending to be her. Mm -hmm. Uh, And like I said, it just seems so real. Like, it's just very, like, she kind of just lays herself bare, and it's just, like, kind of, I would, I don't know how people can do that, because I would never do that, but... Uh, yeah, it's really impressive because it's all kinds of stuff. And it's almost like a scrapbook because she's got all kinds of like awkward art in here <laughs> and awkward <really> photographs. <laughs> the, kind, the kinds of things I would have burned myself. <laughs> Not put published them in a book. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's It's surprising to say the least just how, I guess, open people are or willing to be with their fans and or people who happen to come upon their book by stealing it from their friends yes and I was a little bit surprised by her complete um type a personality and how she like basically had to take over or had to control every little piece of like some of her projects and Mm -hmm. I guess I was a little bit surprised by that and also how freaking crazy intelligent she is yeah like brilliant and it's just like oh okay (laughs) I thought you were kind of like adorable and funny not you know a fucking genius yeah like absolutely amazing in all ways like she really is she's fascinating yeah her story is just like I don't think people normal people don't really grow up like that so it's just like no wonder why she's you know her and as unique as she is because she had a weird upbringing (laughs) Well, and it's, like, amazing, too, because when she was talking about, like, the fact that she technically didn't really go to school ever, and a lot of it was up to her, like, deciding, okay, I'm going to wake up and do math. Like, I never would have done that. No, no, me neither. (laughs) And her whole discussion, too, about, like, Hollywood, as someone who didn't go and, like, instantly make it big was really interesting, too. And with that connected idea of how she had to kind of acknowledge that. It was interesting because she put herself into a situation where she didn't have any control, and then 
got addicted to World of Warcraft and then found a new thing that she could have that kind of control in. And it's just sort of that kind of problem solving is amazing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and it's it's just it's just cool because it is like part memoir, part how to, part how to then fix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's just it's a really neat book. And so for someone like me who's a huge fan, I loved it. And I really liked it. I thought it was worth reading. Someone who is, I guess, a moderate fan-ish person. (laughs) (laughs) It's a great description of myself. You're a casual. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, sure. So it's for everyone. Everyone should read the book. Everybody should read the book. Um, Yeah. As long as, you know, you're, you know, a person and you like to read and you like things and you like things <laughs> and people I don't really like people so that's actually not actually a qualification if you're but... easily exhausted by the idea of achievement you probably shouldn't read the book there we go hard <laughs> limit I did feel a little bit like inadequate after reading it I'm, I'm, like, I'm like wow I kind of suck at life <laughs> like yeah. she's done all this stuff He's yeah. like, oh my god, I have to go do 27 things. Hold on. No, I'm like, I need to go create things and be famous, except that I don't want to be famous and or create things. So that was a dilemma, <laughs> having to read it. You had a moment crisis, but then you're like, eh. yeah. I'm not doing enough with my life in Hollywood. Oh, wait, I don't have one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah. So people should go read it. Now, yes. stop listening to us and go read it. Bird now. barf of enthusiasm. Yes. All right. Well, okay. thanks for listening, guys. Yeah. Well, thanks. Anyway. Bye. Bye. Bye.